saddle these two stone. Sort it out and then I'll start explaining which, which bits go where. So. Right, this is um, a Glen Strathfara. It's, um, it's not got a solid tree like a conventional riding saddle has and it also has three girth straps. The girth straps are the straps that go around the belly and, and they help hold the whole saddle down in securely in position on the pony before we put on the stag. What we're going to do is I'm going to go around the other side and we're fastening in these straps, the first one on this side to the third one on that side, the third one on this side to the first one on the other side and two to two um, on top of that. This is called crossing your girths and it keeps the, them all nice and securely here so the pony can breathe through its ribs. Some people by mistake put them um, on like that and they slide up the pony's back and then as you're walking along with your stag um, they will actually come loose and that's when you risk the saddle spinning round. So I'll just go around the other side now to fasten the girths as I just mentioned. First one sweetie. The third one. Go to the first. We we'll just get it on roughly and then we can talk about um, how tight it needs to be and stuff. Right. Then we've got what's called um, a sur single. Now, Um, if you're in a show ring, this would go the other way around, but up the hill it's very, it's a lot easier if it's on this way around and then we can actually put weight on it to actually make it nice and tight and get it tight before we actually load the stag on. But as I say, in the show ring it should be on the other way around. So then we're going to put on the cropper which comes down the pony's back, round and under its tail and is fastened not too tight, not too nice tension, with a couple of inches between um, the pony and the strap. This is so it's not going to pinch up into the dock uh, and make it sore. As we move along, the pony moves, the saddle may move a bit with it, we need a bit of give in here. The cropper is to support this strap going over the pony's back, and that then in turn supports this big wide strap going around to bottom, and this is called the breeching or britching, depending on how you pronounce it, where we come from. Um, and that fastens around here. Now, the whole point of that is, is to support this bottom strap here, this britching, get a nice balance on it. Um, and that's going to stop the whole saddle from sliding up the pony's neck when we're going downhill with our weight on it. Conversely, round her chest, we've got what we call a breastplate. Um, and this fastens it rather similar to the one on the back. That. And this is to stop the saddle sliding backwards down the pony's back when we've got the weight on. When we're going up a hill with the stag on. So all told, our saddle is now nice and securely on the pony. Um, and we will just check all these straps individually. That one needs to come up a knot before we actually put the stag on. So we'll put the stag on when everything's got to be nice and tight on the pony. Yes, yeah, breathing sweetie. Before we put our stag on. Most important, um, once the stag's on, sometimes you can't get under here to actually do the straps. That will come up once as well. Um, so we let, let night nice and tightly um, checked. Um, on here we have actually got stirrup cleats. And sometimes I ride out into position to wait. A lot of pony boys might choose not to ride, that's entirely up to you. Um, but I like to ride out and then you can have a nice saunter along there. Now this is an old saddle and it's got them on. The other saddle I'm going to show you in a second, that's also got them on because these are actually ancient saddles. Anybody who makes them nowadays doesn't tend to put them on um, because the pony boys don't particularly ride out anymore. But in the old days, the guest might have ridden out and then he would have walked back once he's got his stag on. On the front of the saddle here, we have four short clips. 
uh, with buckles on the end. And on the back of the saddle, we've got these long straps here, which we use to fasten our staggy on with. That's sweetie. Right. Um, what we're doing is we're putting one around its bottom, one around its chest, and one over the top, which is called the head strap, um, to fasten our stag on with. Now, there are four, but we're only ever using three. Um, this is so we've always got a spare in case one breaks, or we've got a difficult stag who's set in a, in a difficult position, and we need that extra bit of uh, strapping just to strap him on. So we've got two in the centre here, and one either side. There's also a nice bit of heavy rope in case we have to drag the stag any position um, or any other reason we might need to fasten anything together something might break we haven't got a spare strap but we always do carry spare girth um, anyway um, in, in a rucksack um, so we've always got one to hand um, on top of all this we've got a pair of blinkers um, I, I start to use these on youngsters when we first start training them as they get older, they get wiser, and um, they're not needing them as, as much. But I put them on the pony so that you can get the, uh, the idea of what they look like. And now the pony actually can only see forward to vision, <laughs> a vision of about here, um, and uh, can't see what's happening behind and see that it's a stag and not a person on her back. So that's a bit about all the saddlery. So now I'm going to take the saddle off um, and then I'll be demonstrating the other type of saddle which is a Glen Koich saddle which is slightly different in its a, a strapping system.